What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to delete unwanted part in Filmora 13. Alright, so this is how I delete unwanted part in the program. And you can follow along to learn how to do the things to delete unwanted part, how to use the repo delete function and also how to turn on and off the auto repo function in the program. Because I think it is important to to understand the software, especially for a beginner. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Jackie. I'm from Vietnam. I make few more tutorial and also YouTube tips and tricks and stuff like that. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more few more tips and tricks. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so this is my few more project, and actually I create some short. So you see, this is. First thing you want to understand, this is the layout of Filmora 13 and this is classic layout and if you see your layout is different from mine, you can just click here at the layout option and select the classic layout, okay? Normally it would be the default layout, by the way, I love classic layout. Okay, so normally it is very simple to delete anything on the timeline in Filmora 13. All you need to do is to select the part that you want to delete and then you can hit this button, delete button, okay? Just click this chat button to delete that part on your timeline. And sometimes if you make a mistake, you can just hit Ctrl Z to yeah, undo the action. Okay, so that is the first option to delete anything on the timeline. By the way, before deleting anything on the timeline, you need to pay attention to this button. This is the auto repo button. If you turn it on, then when you delete something, it will auto move automatically move everything on the right to the left. So if you don't want to move anything on the timeline, you need to turn it off like this. Okay, for example, uh, we have a title here. And now if we hit the delete button, it will not move anything okay something like this so this is similar to repo delete function in other video editor for example if i want to delete anything here if i want to do repo delete i can just right click here and select repo delete so it will do the same thing it will delete the selected part and then move everything from the right to the left okay something like this by the way if you have any open track below the selected track the repo delete function will not work. For example, if I right click here and I keep here, this is the video track and this is the audio track. And if we right click here at the selected video and do the repo delete, it will not work. Okay, for example, like this, it will keep the empty gap right here. So if you want to apply the repo delete function, you need to lock the track under the selected video or the selected track. Okay, something like this, for example. Uh, I'm sorry, I will undo the thing first. So I can lock the track here, lock the track here. And now I can do the repo delete for this video. Just right click here and select repo delete. See, it will move everything from the right to the left. So that is how the repo delete function works in Filmora 13. By the way, so let's come back to normal. Okay, so now I will show you how to delete a part on the timeline. So we need to unlock everything. And now if I want to delete this part, I need to highlight it by press, press and hold my left mouse. Okay, and highlight the thing that I want to delete. Okay, and then I can split, split it first. So it will be split in three sections here. And then I will move my playhead to this section and then split again. And now I can delete this section. So now we can use delete or repo delete. Okay, so we can use delete like this. Just hit the delete button and keep the empty gaps right here. Let's control Z. And we can use the repo delete also. We can right click and select repo delete. By the way, I set up a shortcut key here. If I press D, it is repo delete. For example, I can select everything here and press D. It will be repo delete. Okay, so that's easy, right? So that is how to delete unwanted part in Filmora 13. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.